Well, what we're doing is producing a series of videos called Tips of the Barista. And our purpose with the videos is to let people know how professionals go about things in the coffee industry. And in turn, we're educating our customers so that they can get the very best out of their coffee at home. So you won't believe the first and most important question I get asked, but it's coffee storage. It's the most amazing thing. Everybody has got an opinion on coffee storage. And what I'll try and do is tell a bit of a story myself uh, about the whole thing and it'll make sense at the end. I, look, I was once at a dinner party and the uh, host at the end of the, the night said, I've been keeping this special coffee for years and years for, for just such an occasion. And uh, look, I, I ordered tea that night, I'm sorry, but you, you just got to have coffee fresh. It's as simple as that. So look, when you're storing coffee, you got to think, coffee's food. It grows on trees. Once it's roasted, it'll rapidly um, just lose its edge. So if you expose it to oxygen and moisture in the air, it's all over for coffee. So there are two types of food when it comes to food, that which freezes well and that which doesn't. I mean, that's pretty obvious. So coffee will feed, freeze just fine. The problems come when the air and the moisture get involved. So the trick with your coffee is to keep your coffee away from moisture and oxygen. And we just use zip tie bags. You, you can buy them when we serve our, our coffee, they, came, they come in a zip tie bag. Or you can use a plastic bag at home. Squeeze the air out, use the least amount of coffee as possible, leave it exposed to the air the least amount of time as possible, seal it back up, put it back in the freezer. Now, the best way to do this is to have whole beans because once you grind a bean, it decomposes more rapidly. So you'll get a week or two out of ground coffee in the refrigerator. You'll get uh, probably three or four times that if you freeze it. So if at all possible, buy your beans in whole, whole form. Now to make my point a little bit clearer, in our espresso bars, we grind our coffee beans fresh for every cup of coffee that we make. We don't leave it sitting around at all. It only takes 20 minutes between when you grind coffee and when it starts to lose its edge. And the way that you can tell is the crema on the shot of espresso. That's the, like the head of a Guinness. Within 20 minutes, it'll go from being 80% of the shot down to about 50% and there on. So the trick is grind your coffee before you use it if possible. Crema is the key to great coffee. Look, there's a bottom line for all these things. Refrigeration is good. In my opinion, freezing is better if you can keep the nasties away. So if you want to find out for sure, just do a simple experiment next time you buy some coffee. Put half in the fridge, half in the freezer, and I think you'll find that the frozen coffee will keep longer. Well, I'm Rob, your coffee shop coach. That's my first tip, how to store coffee. Look out for plenty more tips in the future. They're coming your way.